Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're in the world of Medieval Legendaries, we're actually in the pre-release version. And if you're interested in getting your hands on this when it releases, it is coming out on the 19th of February. And since we're in the pre-release, we're in pre-alpha as well, so you're going to expect to see a few bugs here and there. But just like in Space Engineers, the developers are ever working on it to evolve it and make it into something that is amazing. So this was the first little cottage that I ever tried to build. It's a little stone little cottage. We've got some ladders. We've got some different areas. And my construction skills at the start were not very good at all, as it looks like we've had some sort of break-in at the rear door as I didn't structurally create it correctly and it fell apart as you can also see we've got a little bit of looseness on the actual roofing you can see how the roofing part tile fell off there we've also got some wheels here that I've been playing around with here building these little sort of wheelie wheels and if we just have a quick run into the wheel you can see how it rolls and we can actually push it along we've got some placeholder sounds clearly at the moment but i'll just actually run this into the open here you can see how that rolls away very interestingly <laughs> you can have some pretty cool carts and different sorts of designs with this but anyway i'm just going to show you a few different things i've been messing around with now this was one of my early prototype designs and this was as far as i got with it because after this point structural integrity kind of took over and it collapsed in every sort of way. I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can have a look at it. So you can see we've got two sort of uh, main castle areas and we've got a central sort of uh, arc sort of area that's got a passageway going through the middle. And I started building this and it started to fall down. So I thought with my new construction, I would show you just how it works, show you some of the controls and show you how it feels. Now, you may notice that I've turned the hood off and I'm not going to be showing you that just because it's in a very placeholder sort of form at the moment and the devs are not really happy with us being showing that. So let's have a look around the place. So this is um, sort of a French sort of chateau castle build that I'm actually working on at the moment. So let me whip out some blocks. So we've got a spiral staircase there. We also have some flat walls. And first off, I'm just going to show you how this works with the block in sort of blocks. So as you can see, we've got this sort of problem. Now in Space Engineers, you wouldn't be able to do that because this block would have already took up this corner. And now if we hold Alt down, we'll be able to actually place this block within a block. So you can see we'll place that there. And we can even go one step further. We can rotate this block around and place that there as well. Now, if we want to remove that, you're probably wondering if I press delete, will that just delete that whole block section? Well. If you actually use Alt again and aim at the block you want and then right click, it will take the block out that you actually want so you won't ruin your whole construction and design. Just a really cool little thing. So just the foundations of the building are actually being laid out here. And you can see I've just done some inner hallways and I'm trying to work it out so when I build upper levels on this, it won't just all come falling down. We've also got a little garage storage shed on the side there for different tools. So I'm just going to place a few of these and just show you how it works. So we've got another problem there. Hold Alt down and just fill in the gap. And there we go. We can just start building this up, holding Alt again to actually get through them gap areas and building up the side. We can also use all the features that Space Engineers has in regards to drag, dragging and placing and so on so if i drag and place you can see how we can actually place the whole wall section very cool very fast rather efficient as well something that's missing from a lot of different other sandbox games that keen really do a good job of doing so let's drag that piece into place and we've got the ground floor constructed now i think it's time we actually go up the stairs and i think we'll have the stairs in this middle area but we're gonna have to have it under some sort of support so I'm going to have to check out some different staircase variations for this. So we have two different staircase variations. We have one that's more suited for a corner. This one here, as you can see, if we hit Alt, it'll fit in the corner nicely. And we've also got the rounded one here that's more suited for a spiral sort of tower up the top. Now let's use this one and we can start building up to the next level. So we'll place that there. And we should have that going up very nicely, very good. We need to give it a test. And you can also see as we've got this area clipping through the wall. But that's naturally a problem because with this blocking block sort of feature, we can just wall straight across the area there. We might even have a window there now. Should we have a window there? That would be, that'd be nice to have a window there, wouldn't it? So there we go. Stick a window in there. And let's just have a look what else we could do in this area so we've got this whole upper floor to build and we've got to be mindful of structural integrity as well so let's spread these windows out first along these different areas place that like so place that one there one can go here as well 
and we should place maybe one here on this central area. We'll just have to work out exactly where we can place it so it goes up to that level. There we go. There's one. There's two. And now we've just got to get this other area sorted. So we'll place another there and two on this side. You've got to have a lot of light in these old sort of buildings. They call them the Dark Ages for a reason as there's not much light at all. Right, now we've got this. That's perfect. Let's just um, add a final touch of a little bit more window edge. So we've just quickly added on the second floor, but I think we need some way to actually walk on that second floor. So we've actually got these guys here. You can see these wooden floor sort of panels, but the problem is we've got to support these with something underneath. Now, there is multiple ways of doing this. So if we just add a basic floor panel to this, since the walls are close enough together, we should actually be able to support them floor panels as it is. But if this room was much longer, we'd run into some serious problems. So let's actually just pad out the rest of these. Now, we want to be careful on the corners. I mean, it's been very well thought out. You see, if we place one through the corner like so, we actually need to get a rounded piece. And these rounded pieces are available, so that's actually great. So we can delete that using the alt so we don't delete the whole wall. And then we can just start placing these in as well. See, so pressing alt, getting that variation that we need to get on that lower area. Pressing alt again. And actually, it's gone on the ground floor. I have to delete that. That was me not pressing Alt. You can see how it didn't place it where I wanted to exactly. And we're just going to cut through and build these last few wooden beams in place. We've got another wooden beam at the front. And we've got the rest of the upper floor to do. Then we've got to build ourselves some roof. And we've got to debate if we're going to build a sort of standalone castle roof. Or are we going to go with one of the many sort of thatched or hay sort of roofs that they've actually got for us to play with? Anyway, I'll show you when we get to that. So let's move on to actually adding some roofs. Now, we've got the standard sort of tile roof. And something to take into consideration when we're adding these roofs is they rely on an inner support beam. So something that can actually track across. Otherwise, that piece of wood is simply going to fall down. So we then have to work out a way of supporting it as we're actually building it. I'll show you some of the other different tiles as well. We've got tile corners, we've got tile inner bits. It's pretty much everything you could think of and need. We've also got more traditional sort of slaty gray tiles. And we can also go very peasanty with um, some hay tiles as well. You can see we've got some hay. Just rotate that around so you can see it a little bit better. We've got some hay so we could, we could go with a bit more of a budget sort of looking shack if we wanted to. But I think we're going to go for an upper class chateau. We need some more posh sort of style turrets anyway i'm gonna get building i'll show you in a second now before we get any further with this building i've added some reinforcements to the structure you can see that i've actually added some dividing walls to the upper story and that's going to help support the roof and you can also see we've put some dividing walls on the floor below so if i just drop down here and walk inside you can see we've got a dividing wall there from before dividing wall there and we also have a dividing wall on the other side here as well so we should have enough structure support underneath to build up another floor. We've also got the staircase here that I cannot yet climb at the moment. And you can see we've also made this little dent there so we can actually loop through that. So that should be pretty good to see. And now we just need to add on some sort of roof. So what we're actually starting to do now is add the roof on for this central area. So we're actually placing these struts in to support it in its full glory. So we can just rotate that around, flip that one around place that there and if we equip ourselves a roof for instance we've got this nice sort of tiley one we can actually work out how exactly we want it to dangle over the edge so we're going to place that one there oh no we've not built it correctly okay too much weight on that area so we need to sort that out if we want to try to build that roof again we have to weigh that out a little bit better anyway i'm going to reload it just to see what we can do. Big problem. So let's actually try to assess the damage on what happened here. So it looks like this wall wasn't supported well enough. And that makes sense because it, there was no floorboards there because of the staircase. Now maybe that's what give up. I don't know. Not too sure. Let's let's try let's try building the roof on this side. It's, it's definitely going to fall down now. Yeah, it's just it's too much weight for that wall to take. We're going to have to reinforce it somehow. I think there's some other blocks we could use to reinforce it. Yeah, you can see the spiral staircase has come down there, snapped off. Not very good, not very good. Let's try something else. So I'm going to go with another method of trying to support this roof now. And it seems to have holded up the first piece. Let's try a second. Oh, yes. Yes, we've built ourselves a roof structure. Okay, three. That's three pieces of roof that's managed to support. Okay, will it support the other side? That is the question. So what I've actually done to try to support this beam is I've built this sort of box frame in the middle. 
and then along that I've actually added more of these roof supports and by doing so it's actually made it so it's strong enough to support these roof beams on the existing structure so it's really interesting to actually have a mess around with that now you can see we've got a bit of problem we've got a bit of an overhang on this area so if we just cut that bit down a little there we go we can fit that in there pop that on and victory yes we have a roof on the place now we just need to top up the area across now how are we going to do that that's a good question aaron hmm. give me a minute so i've discovered this tile top thing i'm going to try this putting this on top see what happens holding alt down and oh no broken my first piece of roof we were getting somewhere then as well ah oh, it is a trial and error process and you will learn how to structurally build things i think what broke the structure is maybe this was too heavy on this piece of wood that caused that part to crack then in turn the rest broke we'll have to, we'll have to reload this and continue having a crack at it so for my final roof attempt i have reinforced it double reinforced it and i've just tried to make it so all the actual force oh my god i just thought about it all the force on these blocks is pushing these walls out so i need something to act back on these walls to push it in what could i possibly use i, I don't know uh, we've got a roof handy. Let's just try placing the roof and see what happens. We've got roof here. Let's um, let's start by placing the roof on the other side. I think that might be the problem that we're pushing these walls out. We'll see. If this wall falls down, then we'll know. Okay, we're good on one. I know there's going to be a lot of stress on these corners. Oh, I'm really fearing placing this. Okay, that's two done. Okay, all good. We'll place number three. Okay, that's three done. Alright, so it's down to the other side now. So this structure that I've built here might be holding the shape a lot better than the previous ones. So here comes the harder part. Oh, no! Okay, look, it looks like my roof, roof support is still in shape, though. Looks like it's managed to hold up pretty well under the stress. But it's just, it must be this area. There's just not enough support in this area. Maybe I need to add some more bricks, some more something else. I don't know. Maybe I just need someone to explain the basics of roof construction to me. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And remember, this is an early look. It's pre-alpha. There's a lot of things that are probably going to change. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.